Assalamu alaikum, it's Jenna G. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my kitchen. So we're moving along here with this, you know, stay at home sort of um, scenario that we are in. I hope that you guys are doing fine. I hope you guys are keeping busy. I am keeping all, keeping, I'm trying to keep up with these simple meal ideas for you guys. A lot of you guys have been messaging to say that you have been appreciating the simple meal ideas I've been throwing out so far. It hasn't been that many, but I'm going to try to continue with it. So today I have a whole fish that I, I found in the freezer. We did some cleaning up um, over the weekend and you know passed it out. So we had took a stock of inventory check of what we had actually. So we have some fish to use and um, we have some potatoes that need to be used out quickly. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a simple whole roasted fish with a hash potato and carrot cakes. So let's start off guys, we're going to be dealing with this fish first, see it's a nice size fish that we have here. So I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to be seasoning this up with, we're going to pop this in the oven, we're going to be roasting it right, so it's going to be like 450, we're going to be putting it in, um, putting, it, putting it in, in the oven and while that's roasting we're going to work on the potato and the carrot hash cakes. Hey guys, I caught that fish <laughs> on a kayak. Before the lockdown, although I think fishing should still continue because it provides food on the table. It really does, eh? Yeah, it was but a pretty good size yeah, color. Yeah, it is. So let's season this up. How are you going to cook it? Roasting it. Roasting it? Yeah, outside roasting. of the fire? You're going to roast it at like 450 in the oven. I mean, mm -hmm. not covering it or anything. So you're just going to cover it and roast it. Season it up. I mean, not even you. Okay, so we're using dry seasoning. So I like the dry seasoning on fish. I think it adds so some like nice... A rub, like... Right, the dry rub. So we're going to be slicing him and then put in some dry rub in there. So we limit it on shadow bending for right now and stuff. So we try not to use um, too much of the fresh and plus, um, or in addition, I just prefer to use a lot of the dry rub on fish and like red and meat and stuff. This particular so, fish, red fish, is one of the best to bake or to roast. So yeah. I think it's a good option. Yeah, we're it making, is. We're making it it's potato and carrot hash cakes. What I do? We should, I'll show you when we get to that. Let's season this big boy up. Fish yeah. So let's just talk about all the dry seasonings that we're going to be adding to our fish, guys. I guarantee you, when it's going to be packed with flavor. So we're going to be um, adding a little bit of all of these. I'm going to show you guys with some olive oil in it too. So we're going to be using JGM products, cayenne pepper, the paprika, salt, some black pepper, Cajun seasoning parsley now you're going to see cinnamon yes we're going to be adding a little bit of this ground spiced it nice intense flavors you're going to get from that in your fish garlic powder and some thyme so we're going to combine these rub these nicely into our fish and add a little olive oil and pop that in the oven so what you could do um is you know just i'm going to average everything right because the size of the fish just throw along like this is one of those things you just have fun with if you want more cayenne pepper in it add more cayenne pepper so you can add just about any amount of the the mix that i am going to be showing you guys here and be generous with it but before you throw in the stuff like i just did make sure and slice them up right give them some slices sorry guy just going to slice you a little bit and we're going to be making sure that the season and go all inside the slits as well let's transfer him across on the tray and season him up there one time so he's going again i already added the thyme right so i'm gonna add all rub it in and then i'm gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side So I'm adding some olive oil, drizzling some on it and using my hand, I'm just going to make sure and rub this in nicely, get it all into the slits inside as well. So be generous with the seasoning guys. going to rinse my hand real quick, flip them over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Nice. So our fish is nicely seasoned up here. So I am just going to pop this in the oven and then we're going to work on our potato and carrot cakes. So fish is in the oven, smelling really nice. And we have some potatoes. 
that salad to sort of grow in our basket, but that's okay. So we got the potatoes all peeled. We've got a carrot that we're going to be grating together with the potato, and we're going to be making our breadcrumbs with crisps because we have no breadcrumbs in our cupboard, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve packs of crisps lying around. So you want to make breadcrumbs? Yeah, you just put it in the food process processor. So you can put like half of this. So this is the multi-grain one, whichever one you have. So you can um, just put this in there and blend this up and I'll grate the carrots and the potato in the meantime. A little helper guys, a little helper. So we're going to do half of the pack and I'm going to be grating the potato and the carrots. In the meantime, we're going to be adding egg to it, um, some seasoning. We're going to season it up nicely and then we are going to put it in the pan let it cook on each side and by that time our fish should be finished and we've got a simple delicious meal so as the potatoes are finished grating guys we're going to do the same thing with the carrot once i've had them have them all grated up here right the next thing you want to do is just sort of squeeze out any sort of extra liquid that you might have just in case there's any extra so you're going to just squeeze out anything extra and then we're going to add the other ingredients to it so i just want to squeeze it squeeze it get everything out as much as possible so we, once we've got that done we're going to add the crushed cricks I'm going to add some paprika to this, some of the GGM paprika. I just want to add in some flavor now to it. Some parsley is going to go in there as well. Garlic powder. I'm using some all-purpose seasoning in this. This has salt in it. And because we like some spice, I'm going to be adding the GGM cayenne pepper as well. And also I'm going to add in an egg. I'm going to use my hand, mix everything up. next thing all you have we want to do guys is just flatten it out and you're going to put it into our pan and let it cook on each side just for a couple of minutes until it's nice and golden brown so you have a little bit of oil up here you're going to form your potato and um, carrot Hash cakes and you're just gonna gently put them in so the size you know depends on how big or small you want it to be so you're gonna leave it about two to three minutes guys I have my heat on medium and just gonna flip them and let them just continue cooking through again for about two to three minutes again so the last few finish guys nice color two to three minutes on each side keep the heat um, I said low medium, but if it's too hot, then you drop it, right? But a little medium is you want it to be hot when you put it in so that it does not fall apart. The egg will keep it together though, but make sure the temperature is nice and hot when you put it in. If it's burning, if it's cooking too fast, then drop your temperature a little bit. So finished product here, guys. Our fish, we left it roasting 450 for 25 minutes. And we've got our potato, our hashed potato and carrot cakes finished as well. That brings us to the end of this video guys another meal idea for y'all roasted whole roasted fish with some hashed potato and carrot cakes simple meal idea of course utilizing what it is that we have on hand of course you can make a sauce if you want to we'll be having it with some garlic sauce that we already have and some ketchup to go along with it but if you want to make a sauce go right ahead be my guest make a sauce remember in these times you know times of uncertainty and all of that we are just trying to stress the importance of keeping things as simple as possible um you know we don't know how things are going to go and i keep saying it in the couple of videos that i would have done during this time it's just to stress the importance of trying to keep things simple and i hope that you guys can understand and appreciate that we have no idea how things are going to go and just to safeguard just yourself you know so you don't have to go to the supermarket and purchase any extra stuff and like i keep saying this is a good learning experience for all of us and an experience to show us really and truly how fortunately how fortunate we are on a general basis you know we have four or five different things on one meal and it's really not that necessary i mean bear in mind that there are many people who can't 
keep purchasing stuff to restock so you know let's try to keep things simple i hope you guys can appreciate that um side of the video that that aim that point of the video i'm trying to get across to you guys so keep things as simple as possible and utilize what you have in your kitchen cupboards and in your fridge so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you don't have fish of course you know you can do a big chicken with it a roasted chicken with it whole roasted chicken i have a video up for that so i will post that down below because i know not many people might have a whole fish lying around so you can also do a whole roasted chicken if you like um with these potato and the carrot hash cakes delicious stuff easy simple menu meal idea for you guys to try out so i hope you guys enjoyed it try it out don't forget to send me pictures i always appreciate when you guys send me pictures of recipes that you try out it means a lot so continue sending you the pictures continue trying the recipes leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about this video just one thing i need to mention um in my rest of my recipes you'll see that i'm using average of the dried seasoning that is just because you know like i always say the cooking on the food depends on your taste and your your taste buds your preferences so i will put the ingredients list the ingredients that i use um and you guys can average and you guys can play around with the amount that you want to use in your dish if it's something specific like a bacon recipe for like cake or something else like that i'll be sure to put the exact measurements but I prefer to just give you guys a name of the items, all the items listed out and you all can play around with it, especially when it comes to the seasoning and the salt products, so you guys can have fun with it. Another thing is, this is a good way to hide your vegetables for the kids or even for the adults like myself who are not fan of vegetables, so it's a great way to hide it, grate it up in the potato, put it all together and you can't even tell that they have carrots in it and it's packed with flavor. Not to mention the multigrain cricks that we use great addition of flavor as well in there so good stuff for you guys could try so thanks so for much thanks so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video some of you guys are going to wonder what it looks like inside still very hot though so check it out see the egg holds it nicely together the cricks we used pretty good um, replacement for if you have no breadcrumbs use the cricks absolutely delicious stuff easy snack idea or meal idea for you to put together